if someone dies while someone is in the commission of a felony, you can be charged with murder, and in many states, it is death penalty. So I'm just, I'm just sort of flummoxed by the idea that this, this house was not a crime scene. Does any of it make sense to you? Well, good evening, Ashley. It's been a while. It's good to be back with you. Uh, I, I will tell you, uh, from the beginning of this thing, I mean, this happened, what, about three weeks ago? And I'm a little surprised at the um, uh, this uh, call for these answers to be immediate. In the fast food world we live in here, it's like uh, they want the, the, uh, the 43 minutes of a television show with no commercials, and it just doesn't work that way. Uh, it's a tragic, tragic scene. I don't know that it wasn't secured uh, by those officers that responded. There is a video out that uh, purportedly shows that uh, they had Willis in custody at the time that they arrived. I've also read where another person that was going to the scene approached it. There were police everywhere, and there was some caution tape, to use their term, around the house. So that would indicate to me that there was some sort of crime scene tape causing a barrier, which would indicate that they have secured the scene. Now, as far as what was recovered there and so forth and so on, we won't know that until we, we understand what law enforcement presents to us as to what they recovered. In terms well, of a felony... But, but, but wait, because we do, we absolutely know at this point that, you know, as, as Ricky Johnson was dead and frozen out in the backyard that we're looking at right now... His backpack was sitting in that home. And when Jordan Willis, the owner, moved out because he was under so much scrutiny, he went off into hiding, and now he's in rehab, um, the backpack was still there. It, it was another connection, another family friend that, that brought Ricky's backpack out of that home and over to his family to reunite his belongings with his family. And I just can't for the life of me figure out, if you have three dead men mysteriously in the backyard uh, and you've cuffed the homeowner and then uncuffed him and taken him downtown to question him, how would you not process that scene a little more carefully? How would you not take a backpack of one of the victims and notice two bottles that have pills in them, one antacid and ibuprofen? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, and no one will never know, because no one bothered to look. Well, and I don't either. I mean, I wasn't there. So I don't know if there were pictures taken and they felt like that that was good enough. Uh, I, I don't know. But uh, Wouldn't be good I, I for guess... a felony murder case, would it, Phil? Honestly, like, it would not hold muster in a felony murder case, right? Because somebody would say, well, I want to test those pills. You know, we I, so I can't. Sorry, away. we left them in the house. <laughs> we, we are so far away from a felony murder case with this thing that... Uh, are we? That's not. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is. Look, I tell you what. What needs to happen here, in my view, and I'm looking at this through the eyes of a homicide cop. I'm not looking at it, you know, with with any particular. Uh, you know, I've got no dog in the fight in that sense. Yeah. Uh, what I'm looking at here is, we've got, we have a scene, we have three dead bodies in the backyard, and the the circumstances under which they're there is what's in question. Now, we've got this tox test that we've not been given the official results, but if, if we're talking about a mixture of cocaine, fentanyl, uh, THC, they were smoking dope, and, and I don't know if there's ethanol, uh, alcohol involved in this thing or not, but a lot of these drugs, a lot of these uh, narcotics that are taken cause the body to heat up in an abnormal way. And what do okay. people do when that happens? So they move they outside. outside. They go outside. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. And I was asking if the bodies had their clothes removed because that was another big well, question. I, I have to wrap it there, yeah. Phil, but you're, I think you're on to something with that. I think you're on. Real quick. Well, I've seen comment. this mostly with MDMA, with methylene dioxymethamphetamine ecstasy, uh, where the body heats up and people will take their clothes off, run out in the dead of winter, to get cooled down. So I don't know if that's what happened here. So my question is, these are grown men celebrating the Kansas, Chief, Kansas City Chiefs game. They want it. They're really celebrating. And they're doing it in this moment. They ingested this stuff voluntarily. They got outside. So my question here is, were they dead as a result of what they took? Or did they pass out right. because of the entire 
vacation and they froze to death. The, yep. And, 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 and that we don't know. And you're right. Autopsy is going to bring that. And we are waiting for that. That's why no one says they froze to death. We don't know that. No one says right. they OD'd. We don't know that. Could be a combo. Cool. I got to leave it there. Phil Waters, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. As always, you've got such great wisdom. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.